All right, so we got Hell Divers 2, a United Stand, the Galactic War trailer. Let's go to the video. All right, man. Let's go. Let's do this. PlayStation Studios. Now, I think I've seen like a few trailers on uh, on Hell Divers before already. Oh, Prior to man. the beginning of this game, the Terminants, which have been confined to their own farm planets, harvested for Element 710, have broken loose and the Helldivers are being mobilized once more to deal with this threat, but also the brand new race. They seem to be called the Automatons, they work as full robots. It might not be a bad idea to put them in their place too. You're going to be playing as a Helldiver. They go through training. Oh, I don't need training. They I don't need training. training. <laughs> and are frozen until needed. Our cryogenic technology is second to none. When you start to play as a Helldiver, they've just been defrosted and ready to command their Like some speed. chicken! In the game of Helldivers 2, you are going to spend most of your time in combat, fighting enemies. Dang, so I'm just like, I'm just a soldier, I can't create no Everything family or nothing? outside of the mission when you're on your ship is about strategy. The galactic map shows you the current situation of the war. It shows you what planets are super Earth planets, what planets are being covered by some sort of enemy scum? Yeah. And where the battlefront is. And this looks really and good, as though. As a Helldiver, you get to decide exactly what planet you're going to fight on, what enemies you're going to go against. Hey, you I, get to make. I want to fight on Venus. There. At the same time, the Galactic War is the place where Super Earth High Command is going to be communicating out to Helldivers across the galaxy. Okay. They'll be letting you know what the current top military priority is. They are broken out into two types of orders major orders and personal orders okay major orders are big long-lasting things that the community as a whole is working towards these are things that are central to the story there are ways in which you can be a major contributor to changing the face of the galaxy itself that's yeah. going to take the combined effort of hell divers across the galaxy working to hey i'm gonna be the best hell diver like ever to be honest on the personal order level something that you and your squad can do all together Maybe you'll be sent off to kill a couple of really terrifying Ooh, enemies. flamethrower! In a specific way. Bro, I wonder if you do I, bro, it exactly in that way, you'll get a reward. I wonder what the weapons are going to be like, bro. Super Earth. An operation is a uh, number of missions. On lower difficulties, you have fewer missions. As okay. you go into higher difficulties, you get more missions per operation. Okay, that makes sense. In a mission, you okay. don't simply have one thing that you're doing. You need to shoot the nuclear missile. You need to start up the generators for it. You need to find the launch codes. Yeah, so there's multiple steps. These okay. are objectives spread out on multiple the map. Multiple objectives. There's also secondary optional objectives. You don't have to do it, but you are rewarded if you do. Sometimes you find an artillery gun. Well, I get money. You can use uh, that artillery gun. But there's also hostile ones. There are. Artillery emplacements, buildings that disables you from using your stratagems, gooey bug structures that spreads fog. Oh my goodness. Progression, okay. You have your Helldiver Destroyer. It can be upgraded. In the ship management, you buy bigger guns, Ooh, better eagles. What type of setup? Hey, I, I want the best setup samples. of all time. I want you eight screens. The level. You need to extract to get your samples with you to your ship. Okay. Because I want the best setup, like, ever, of all time. Like, you know, I don't want to play around. To you get it mainly by just doing your missions. Most of your personal equipment, like your armor, your helmet, primary weapons, grenades, those are acquired in your warbond. And in the warbond, you need medals. You get okay, medals so these are the weapons right here. Operations. You also get it from doing orders. You have a lot of stuff that you as a player get to choose from and uh, create a... A loadout that fits your playstyle. Hey, I like that flame to Ooh! Oh my goodness! The Galactic War isn't just that, though. It's also a place where we, as the developers, can interact with you, watching what you are doing, watching how the community is playing, and maybe, if appropriate, giving you just the weapon you need to push yourself over. Oh, no, edge. I'll pick my own weapon. Or maybe, <laughs> if it's the right time, I don't story, need help. Seeing a negative consequence and giving you an added challenge. We don't think that many other games are going to be able to offer what Helldivers 2 can. We love our game, and we want you to love our game just as much as we do. Hey, I, we hey, want to be part of it. We I want like to the be environment. Part of it together alongside you. I like the environment so, on this game. Pre-order Helldivers 2 and let us play alongside you. Well, a nice promo. I like it. Oh my goodness gracious! 
Hell Divers 2, February. Wait, it comes out February 8th? Oh, yeah, bro. A lot of games are dropping in February. I'm really excited for it. Uh, Hell Divers 2 does look nice. Now, I think this should, I mean, I don't know if this should be, but I think this is going to be um, like a multiplayer game as well. I don't know. It looks like it can be a multiplayer game, but um, I do like the environment. I do like the graphics. Um, other than that, man, there's nothing really I could, I, could, I could really say about it. I'm going to be honest, bro. I, I really need no help. I mean, bro, shout out to you, you know, for explaining, bro. Shout out to you. Uh, whoever, you know, whoever's uh, his boss, give him a, a $10 raise to his check. Um, I'm just saying, I don't need no help. As a matter of fact, I'm not dying one time, to be honest. Uh, whenever I go in there, you know, and I'm completing objectives on on, on objectives on, on objectives, you know, I'm really just like <laughs> like just flawless, to be honest. So hopefully there's a multiplayer because if there is a multiplayer, I can't wait to be the leader of my team uh, when I, when we go out there and we conquer planets and stuff like that. I, I, I just really can't wait. Uh, other than that, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel. See you guys later for next time I'm out. Uh, and I did not know that it was coming out February 8th. That's a, definitely a surprise for me because I thought that it was going to drop later today. I, honestly, a lot of the games that I thought that was, I said later today, my bad. Sorry about that. I, th I thought that like a lot of the games that were um, that were like you know that that dropped trailers for like the Game Awards and like you know that that dropped trailers last year, or whatever, and that were pushed back. I thought a lot of those games want to come out like later. Uh, this year for some reason but in fact they're actually dropping a lot early 2024 which is nice for me you know i mean listen listen we'll take those to be honest other than that we got Tekken in three more days then we got uh suicide squad on the second uh in february then you get you know of course we got my birthday on the third so uh, i can't wait for that as well other than that again make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video say it's on for next time i'm out and bye